broadcasting from Naluki, Kenya. This is the Me and Larry reality video show. LTO Editorial News Weekend Review. Happy New Year 2011. How you doing? I'm doing fine. Yes, you will see more of me. The Poor American in Kenya, the reality video series, The Birds of a Feather, you'll get to see that. The short reality video series of DM and Sons, and also Know Your Town. Of course, with LTL Editorial News, as LTL gives you the full package. Let's give up the summary of what's going on. Uh, so far, the Ivy Coast selection, uh, I think they need uh, Chelsea's uh, striker, Digma Dogma, to run for president. He would have won it hands down. Those two clowns were just beat it, beat it. No, you are defeated. Yeah, you sure are funky. You need to get going. You need to get out. Yeah, beat it. But anyway, that, the situation of the Sudan referendum, that's uh, going down January 9th. Either the country of Sudan be divided, north and south, or they'll be together fighting it out. Either way, they're going to be fighting it out because they still got oil. Or, and, or, and with oil, friends become full. But anyway, that, the Kuwaitis, uh, the opposition rebel group, and some of the MPs want the prime minister to resign. But the prime minister had the police officers uh, the religious police officers, and they in their riot gear, and the opposition has their smocks and uh, scarves and all that, uh, shawls or whatever you call it, and sandals, get a beat on. Say, oh, do you really want to hurt me? Playing some of that Boy George and Coastal Club song. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make me cry? I like to see them cry. I be laughing. <laughs> the Kuwaitis, the rebels cry. <laughs> also, U.S. travel sucks. That means news sucks in the U.S. So, anyway, also, the birthright of Obama, hey, even though he was born in Hawaii, father is a Kenya, Kenya blood, and you could tell by how Obama looks, he looks Kenya, slim, he doesn't look like he's from Hawaii, pop belly, uh, playing a ukulele, um, getting off on Don Ho's song, Tiny Bubbles, but anyway, uh, let's get on with the next story. In Kenya, the former minister of Star Riha, or Star Rihi, and Tycoon Gishwan Kirima is dead, passed away in South Africa hospital at an age of 84. Maybe the, most of the nurses was on strike and they wasn't getting raised, and so they left that poor guy dead. Same on you, South Africa. But anyway, <laughs> um, he died after uh, fighting a long illness and he needed surgery and he was able to be, be uh, put on a plane, go to London for the surgery, and then rested in uh, South Africa. That's because uh, the third wife, uh, Teresa, was blocking him, putting all that 
wrist crap and got with the rich doctor. So you get too much involved with Nigerian movies. Either that or studied up on the voodooism in Haiti. <laughs> but anyway, that was the, uh, what was going on. She was staying there. Uh, they was divorced on August 25th, 2010. That was a new, uh, newsmaker also. And so the first family came in there, stormed and broke the house and everything. Broke the gates, ransacked the house, threw that no good ex-wife, third ex-wife out of there. Couldn't even throw the uh, stepson out of there because he was hiding. Yeah, that good for nothing. But anyway, uh, what's happened is now they're going to have to fight, fight it out. Yeah, fight it out for his property, his shares, because it was amount to 750 million shillings. So that means they're going to get it on. Hey, it's not the family few. Say, uh, starting with the first family, which is uh, Kirima family. And then they named a group. And then their opponents is Kirima family. Now, the second family, because he had three wives. The second wife died. But whose side would they be on? The first or the second? Might have to split them up. You know, and then they have a good time. And then you can have Richard Dawson or that uh, Louis Anderson to host the Family Feud. And then they can uh, have the, uh, what is the top six answers? Say, who are the top six going to the Hague? And then they could say, uh, they could guess and say, um, Joshua. Uh, Joshua Ibrock song. And what it is? Number four. And then the other one could say, Will Ruto, number one. Ding, 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 ding. Or they could get into a battle war. You know, hey, the battle war is coming up on the WWE. You can have that family fight, fight for it in the ring. Bring it on! Boom, boom! Sticks, everything. Hey, no hold bar. The winner possessed the property of their grandfather, Kirima. I'll be back with more LTO editorial news. Weekend review. Happy New Year!